Hello everybody, my name is Sam Carr and welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying, the hottest game show on TV right now. <laughs> if you haven't already, be sure to check out the first two episodes. In the last episode, if you didn't see it or forgot, and now our main protagonist, the suitor, that's me, has been having some flashbacks or dreams or some sort whenever he goes to sleep or gets knocked out. There's definitely something going on there. Could it be... Cat? Find out now. On Find Love or Die Trying. I figure it's about time to talk with Cat about my next date, but... I felt a tap on my back. Cat? Is that... I turned around, and the girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Is it... Oh, I think it is? Oh, it's Ali. Okay. Cat? No, this is Ali. Uh, I was hoping it was Violet, but, you know, that's, that's cool too. Ah, uh, sorry, Ali. What's up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? Weird how? What do you mean? Don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun on our date earlier, but something about the show is weird. I don't know what you're talking about. This show seems perfectly, completely, 100% normal, and nobody's gonna die in it. Like, what are you talking about? I, I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're so silly, Ali. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all, like you. I mean, what? But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Uh-huh, sure, sure. Taking a nap in the forest at night? You're braver than most, Ali. We're on a private island, I think she'll be fine. <clears throat> That's an interesting expression, and kind of, kind of very, oh, very sexy. What? Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room, on my bed. And I swear I don't remember ever walking back. Also, someone carried you back. That's probably... Safe? That's not that crazy, is it? Huh, that sounds pretty crazy, if it really happened. I mean, <clears throat> these people are watching the whole island. I think they knew you were there and then just brought you back to keep you safe and sound and happy and, and warm and... Wait a minute. A thought just occurred. A thinking thought occurred. What if this... Reality TV show it isn't a reality at all. What if it's a game? Some sort of virtual reality deep dive game. A full dive system. Or a bit more like the, the Alice Project. Like, that would explain the weird 3D-ness on the background, and I'm pretty sure it was in other rooms as well. Or it might have just been this one, but maybe this is all a game. You sure you didn't just have a weird dream? <clears throat> now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Really? I would have thought you'd be able to cook. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happen last night? Uh, I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Cat in my room, but that was it. Damn, five girls to date wasn't enough, huh? Not you too, damn it! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, the colors on her shirt are on the wrong side. Well, I guess I'll be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up to a weird-ass dream. Yeah, that's probably all it was. Thanks for listening, Sankara. It's my pleasure, Ali. Anything for you. See you later. Because th okay, some of the dreams match up with what I was just saying earlier as well. The dreams we've been having, some of that conversation could definitely imply a virtual reality type of situation and which would explain as well that how the whole outside world was crazy and despair and here everyone seemed perfectly fine and with internet and streaming and high school and stuff. And restaurants. Just a thought. I wanted to ask, did your guys do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know of. How staff leaves the cast alone at night? I guess there's nothing to worry about. Kat's been honest with me so far about everything. Yeah, that's true, I think. Has she? I don't know. Right? Yeah, see, right? <laughs> anyway, more importantly, it's time for phase two. Oh, great. You've done pretty decently with setting up Violet and Ali as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. The romance, whatever. The romance, whatever. More importantly, every time they're on screen, we get one hell of a ratings boost. Wonderful. 
From here on out, you'll only be going on dates with either of them. That'll be your best bet to get out of here alive. I guess I'd like to spend today with... Obviously, I want to spend it with Violet. I can't stand Ali's theme music and it just ruins it for me, so... <laughs> Violet, please, let me see my girl. Violet. <clears throat> nice! I kind of had a feeling you would. Well, yes, we did discuss this yesterday. I think Violet's somewhere around the mansion. Lead the way. Sure thing. I found Violet taking a walk outside the mansion. Hey, Violet, what's up? Hello there, Sinkara. General Kenobi! Sorry, force of habit. I just thought I'd take a nice afternoon walk. This place truly does bring back memories of home. It's a bit smaller than your home, isn't it? You lived on your own personal island? <laughs> Nothing quite that... Bored, bored, Jos? Bored, bored, Bourgeoisie. Burgos. Bur Burgiosi. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Wanna see? For me? I... I motioned for her to follow me into the mansion. Oh, this is sweet. What's going on? I asked Cat to pull a few strings and, well... We have everything we need to bake whatever we want now. Yay! Oh, I forgot about that for a second. Oh, that was great. Oh my. Violet looked at me with a childlike wonder in her eyes. She is so sweet. Oh my god, I love her. Let's get right to it then, why don't we? She was practically shaking with excitement. Her smile and laughter was positively infectious. We decided to make chocolate cake. It was her favorite flavor. Oh. <laughs> and I don't remember mine. Yeah, clearly you don't remember that we hate chocolate cake. Ugh. Chocolate cake makes me feel sick. I hate that. No, thank you. Let's make ice cream cake because that's not baking. Sponge cake. There we go. That said, I also don't remember a thing about how to make cakes, but with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up to speed with a soft and steady hand, and before long, we had a cake in the oven, baking away. Finally, some Violet art. Oh, wow. Yeah, she looks quite different in the artwork. I'm not sure that I prefer it, actually. She needs a haircut. <laughs> she needs a haircut. No, she looks completely different. Where, where's her, where's her dominatrix look gone? <laughs> now, just for the finishing touches. A little more here, a little more there. She was in her own world, humming away as she danced around the cake, decorating it as she went along. This is exactly what I hoped for from Violet. She can be dominant and also super sweet cutie, and I love it. I couldn't help but smile and watch her in adoration. She's pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment and just freeze it in time for safekeeping. I can't wait to share this with the others. But first, Sankara, would you mind testing it? I would rather not if it's chocolate cake, please, thank you, sorry. You don't have to ask, believe me. I'm first in line to try it out. Ah, there we go. That was better. She's so pretty. Thank you. I just am unsure if what I make is worth eating or not. Why is that? My family's caretaker, Lucine, was the one who taught me to bake. <coughs> Besides my sister, Lucine was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Aww. You have a sister too? Sometimes I worry they told me it's delicious just to make me feel better. I took a little off the top of her cake with my finger and licked it off. It's delicious, Violet. You better believe it. Of course it is. Would you want to help me a little longer? I'm having far too much fun to just stop now. Of course. I've just started making some cookies, and I find I quite enjoy your company and help, Sinkara. My heart. My heart. I'd love to. Let me know how I can help. Violet passed me a bowl full of cookie dough in a tray. All you need to do is make a little cookie shaped pieces out of this dough, then put them on the tray. What are cookie shapes? Circles? Do try not to put any of them too close together on the tray, or it'll become something of a mutant cookie in the oven. Yeah, hate it when that happens. Got it, no mutant cookies here. <laughs> I ripped off a piece of dough from the dough from the bowl and rolled it into the size and shape of a cookie. 
perfect. You're a natural. Thanks, Violet. I... Wow. In the time it took me to make one, Violet had made six perfect cookies. Damn, look at her go! She moved with a mechanical efficiency as if she needed balls of dough to perfectly shape cookies. <clears throat> wow, I thought you were great before, but you're really incredible. How long have you been doing this? Perhaps since I was about, say, five? <clears throat> to this day, it remains the only thing I can best my sister at. I finished making another cookie as Violet finished three more. She held up one of the cookies and raised it to her face. I interrupted her gloating with another dough ball for her. Booyah! This time it made a satisfying splat against her left cheek. Left cheek. Sorry, pick up. Strike! Oh, got him! Right in the cheek. Oh, you are so clean now. Her smile turned devilish as she grabbed another dough ball. Oh shit. <laughs> I've only a second before her next volley, I go on the offensive, go on the defensive. Hmm. The best defense is a good offense. Hiya! I just started to reach for another dough ball from the tray when a dough ball splattered against my forehead, sending me recoiling backwards. Crikey! Quite the arm! <laughs> Love a girl who can kick my ass. Ah! And then another landed right next to it. <laughs> ah, mercy, mercy! And then another. <laughs> Daleks do not know mercy. <laughs> I crumpled to the floor in defeat. I declare this my victory in absolute confidence. She laughed as she pointed at the dough on my face. I took the opportunity to interrupt her speech with another dough ball. Got him! It splattered right against her left cheek. Are we meant to be like cooking these, baking these, or I guess not? Oh, you're even more dead now. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Like, straddle me? What? Forget surviving this crazy TV show. I don't know if I'm surviving the next five minutes. <laughs> I was like a t I was like looking a tiger dead in the eye. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> yeah, see the pink lighting is all over this place too. Anyway, Violet reloaded her and was winding up for another blow. It was all I could do to reach for one more ball and scream in defiance. Bring it on! Bring it on! Boom! Some say you can still hear my screams in that kitchen to this day. <laughs> oh dear. We finished cleaning up after our impromptu food fight and brought the desserts that survived the Great War to the porch. <laughs> the Great War. <laughs> That's what we used to call World War I back in the day. Her smile and laughter were infectious. They really are. Pardon me, but I guess we can rule out you being a baseball player before you had come to this island. Ouch! <laughs> she put her hand tenderly against my face as she wiped off some remaining dough. Oof. You could've just looked it off. What? <clears throat> we locked eyes yet again. Her eyes were practically magnetic. Thank you for playing along, Sinkara. I... I suppose it's been too long since I've had that much fun. I can tell. I'm glad that you are having fun. One thing's for sure. Being around her makes my heart skip a beat, and the time flies. Before I realized how much time had passed, it was already pitch black outside. A romantic stroll around the mansion? Around the outside? Perhaps? No, just gonna be in there. Fine, that's... I <sighs> just wanna spend more time with Violet. I really enjoyed that. I really liked that. I was about to turn in for the night when I heard a knock on my door. Howdy! Hey, Cat. I thought you weren't going to come over tonight. Sorry about that. I got tied up in some things. Is everything okay? <clears throat> Good as always. Care to join me for a walk? Well, I did want to go on a romantic stroll, but it will violet. But sure, that sounds nice. Then away we go. Oh, this place is nice. We walked at a relaxed pl pace, with Cat slightly ahead, leading the way. Tomorrow you'll be going on a date with your other soulmate candidate instead. Let's milk this love triangle for all it's worth. Yeah, I figured that would happen. I was wondering if I was going to get the choice, actually. Um, but I figured that would happen, so... Alright, fine. Sound good to you? No, but sure. I'm noticing a pattern of making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't. <laughs> yeah. None of us really have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. What does that mean? Alright, I gotta get back to editing today's footage. You ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. We walk back in comfortable silence. This place really is beautiful, right? 
night. Why is the sun already rising? That's a little concerning. See you later, cat. Whew. If I get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island better than anyone by now, Sinkara. We'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in that scientist for his latest experiment. Oh, things are getting real, real interesting now. Damien was the guy who was, like, running the whole thing, right? Damien Black. So I did know him. Interesting. All I've heard is that she's the one who built the prototype. The one Damien used to turn six into a vegetable. It was a six? Six, no! Oh. Not to mention the oldest test audience, the old test audiences too. Shit. I think they must have killed at least a hundred people right now and they still haven't perfected it. The hell? If we get caught. I get what you're trying to say. Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. Didn't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Somehow I know you're close by. But every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. Damn it! Ah, oh, episode four, second, second go. Well, that was another episode of Find Love or Die Trying. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's fantastic oracle episode of Find Love or Die Trying. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Satisfy me by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when the next episode comes out. <coughs> and thank you all so very much for watching this. Plot is thickening. Turns out I knew Damien all along, which I figured after the first dream I, I kind of worked that out. Um, but what is going on? We know the island. They turned six into a vegetable and killed hundreds of people. What is happening? I'm very concerned. But thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name has been Zingara. And until next time, see ya.